Hey guys, this is JMC47 here, and I'm going to take you through a quick guide on how to set up Project M for Dolphin Netplay. I got two files here from the internet. This is the homebrew full set from ProjectMGame.com, and it's just the set that I find the best for Project M on Netplay. So, it's the full thing, you don't have to worry about the Wi-Fi problems on Netplay, so there's no reason to use it. This is the Project M ISO Builder, which um, is, you can find it all over the place. I'll be linking directly to it in the video description, so don't worry about that. Anyway, the first thing we're going to do is extract this ISO Builder right here, and when you do that, you will get this. This is uh, basically what's in the zip. As you can see, there's a GCT file, which is, a game, which is the cheat file that you're going to be using. But we're going to overwrite it with the full set just to be sure, especially if we go on and add our own GCTs later. But right now we'll just use the regular Project M one. And this is a bat file that you'll actually be running once we have everything set up. So here's the homebrew.zip. Let's extract that now. And inside of that we have three folders. Codes, apps, and Project M. The Project M folder is the most important. So first thing we're going to do is just drag this in here. Drag it in here. Thank you. All right, just copying over. I think I copied it twice, but um, anyway, now we have the Project M folder in here. Now next, we want to go inside Codes, and you see uh, RSBE01 GCT file. We're gonna copy that and put it over the old one, even though they're the same. But um, that's just for future reference. You might need to do that. Anyway, now that this is all here, the next thing we need to do is actually get our Brawl ISO, and there's only one legal way to do that, and that is through your disk on the Wii. So, let's go over to my Wii here, and you see I already have the Clean Rip program installed on my Wii, and anyone can do this on a hacked Wii, and it's it's really simple to use. They have their own instructions, so um, I highly recommend that if you want to um, get your Brawl disk legally, and I do not do not recommend anything else, this is the best way to do it. There are some drives that you can use that also work, but um, yeah, I, I really recommend just doing this. Because PC drives are slow and inefficient. So, let's take a look here. There are two options, USB or front SD card. And we're going to be using front SD card even though USB is the better option because I don't have a USB drive plugged in. And this is just for demonstration purposes. So... I insert my FAT32 SD card and I insert my Brawl Disk. It initializes the disk and then it'll come up and tell me, oh, this is a legitimate Brawl Disk. Do you want to dump it, basically? This sometimes takes a little bit. Okay, so here we go. So since Brawl is a dual layer disk, you're going to want to say yes here, which is um because it's dual layer. The chunk size, you just want to keep this one notch below the max size of your SD card or below 4 gigabytes on anything that's FAT32 because if you do um, if you do 4 gigabytes it will max out an error new device per chunk is only if you need a new device like if you have a less than 8 gigabyte or well really less than 16 gigabyte um, SD card or USB drive you, you'll want to say yes to this so that you can empty the SD card or USB drive before you're done so let's just say yes here because I'm going to quit it anyway and then it gets going you're dumping your brawl disk. It takes a long time, so be prepared to wait, but it's really not that much of an inconvenience once it gets going. So now, now that we have our brawl disk, we can continue over here. Okay, so let's get our brawl disk into the right place, and voila! Super Smash Bros. Brawl is in here. The next thing you do is you run your uh, this bat file here, and it'll come up. And this this part's very, very easy. So you hit any key and then you get a, get to this menu. And there's Project M here, which it's it has a download link and stuff, but we're just using Homebrew Full. Revolution Full will work as well. It's, there's really no difference. But um, anyway, you hit 1 and then hit Enter. And then since we use the ISO Builder, we have a .ISO file. Or not ISO Builder. Since we use Clean Rip, we'll have a .ISO file. It's... Really, you don't have to use WBFS. Though WBFS is smaller, we get, like to use ISO because it's always the same size and you get the same result. So, there. Now, this is interesting. You're going to want to select two here so that you don't have to delete your Brawl save file. Because 
for Project M to work in Netplay, you want no save file whatsoever. Custom banner download, you have to say yes, even though there isn't one. So, um, yeah, just say yes here or else it'll crash. And then if this okay, yeah, it's fine. And then you go through this, and this takes a while. There will be an error message popping up about missing DLL, but um, just hit OK and it'll continue as normal, and that's it. That's how you set up Project M on Netplay. And I can do another video about how to set up Dolphin, but um, the Dolphin setup's basically identical to that of um, Melee. The only differences are, um, you can see my Dolphin has the logger open, but let's just um, go into the configuration. The only differences you need to worry about are in the Wii thing right here. You want insert SD card unchecked, aspect ratio 16 by 9. Unless unless both of you agree that you want full screen instead of widescreen, you want 16 point by 9. It, Project M is pretty much designed for it and it's a much better experience. And the other thing you want to go do is make sure in the Wii Motes you want none. If you have any Wii Motes connected, um, Netplay doesn't like it right now. But that is for the current version, which is 4.0-646 uh, Dual Core Netplay Branch. So in future versions, that probably won't be a problem. Anyway, um, if you want to host a Netplay game, you just kind of right-click it. I got two here, but um, this is the right one. You, you won't have two when you do it, so don't worry about that. And then you just boot up the game. Uh, well, you have to have someone connect, but I'm just demonstrating that it boots up. And there's um, Project M.